Well, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Amateur Artist Mark D. Chandler from Man Land once again. Indeed it is. What we have here is a little mock setup of the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set. And it's suspended here on this little makeshift tripod made by Jason of the Parker Ridges Channel. Uh, he gave me this setup on our last encounter. Well, you know I had to use it in the video there, brother. And what it is, is that... Uh, Mrs. Manland, my wife, uh, gave the Parker Ridges the Stanley Adventure Camp cook set with the green cups, well, naturally for the green cup club. And Jason, in his video, as his personal thank you, him and his wife Chris, to us, decided he, he's a hanger, as he places it, you know, he puts it, uh, he likes to hang his pot above the fire. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, he likes to drill holes in his equipment because the Stanley, as you all know, does not have, um, it's not set up for a Billy type of can, a cook system. And he said, well, because I gave it to him, and Mrs. Manlin, of course, that he was not going to actually do any drilling in the pot. So he came up with a very, very ingenious way to suspend the Stanley above a fire. And I had mentioned to him after he made the video, I said, well, you know, way back in October of this last meetup, I had come up with a system to do that very thing, and it's without drilling holes. So let me get you a little close up here. Hopefully what you can see here is this thing swings just a bit in the slight breeze that we have, is we have what they call picture frame wire. And I've got a couple of clips, excuse me, I'm burping from eating Donnie's hamburger. Uh, a couple of those clips that sit on the end. Now I'm going to break this down and show it to you so you can get an idea of what this thing is doing. Now in case you don't recognize the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set Cook Pot, that's because I don't have the original lid when I bought my setup. The lid you see there is actually an improvised lid. It's uh, one of those tops for one of those uh, home candles that you get at the dollar store. What I have here is the picture frame wire, and I wanted to show you these clips up close. They just pop right off. Now, I call it the, no, the figure four. It's not really a figure four deal. Don't know if you can see that too well. Let me pop this top off and see how this, show you how this thing here really works. There's my improvised lid. And if you notice on the Stanley, it has this rolled edge. Well, these clips fit just underneath inside that rolled edge there and I have only two that's what suspends the pot it's real simple real effective you just cannot put enough weight in these things here to straighten these things out and of course they're fireproof and if you don't mind I'm gonna show you just a little clip I actually shot this thing with the video of this pot hanging over an actual fire there at the rendezvous last October 2015 and I'd like to roll this clip right now. She's just come over there, she's knocking me, pulling the car off me, looking. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was half asleep. I was half asleep. <laughs> did you know I did it? Come on. You, now we got good you, footage there. I hit you with my elbow. Where? On the face? This is the perfect example of the mini me. Manland does things in a miniature micro way sometimes. And next door we have the supersized version. There's mine. There's his. His is bigger than mine. <laughs> All right, in case you're wondering about the lid, here it is in the open position where you can actually service what you're cooking. Can you get the lid in? Now I'm going to hold it steady here. I wouldn't be able to do that with a campfire, but you see the lid goes on and off. And this lid here actually overhangs. Does a fine job of doing what it needs to do. And usually I use a magnet to remove this lid. Or just like that. Put it on, take it off. It's very accessible. The actual lid fits on the inside, and you really don't have a problem. So there you go. So 
So until next time, this is amateur artist Mark D. Channel wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience out there. And remember this, get out there and have some fun on the campgrounds. I'll tell you what, you'll be very glad you did.